Ladies and gentlemen, one week away now from NWO sold out. Hulk Hogan and the Giant. WCW World Heavyweight Championship on the line. It's going to be a first in the history of our sport brain if you think about it, that a WCW championship will be defended at a pay-per-view other than a WCW pay-per-view. I know in the NWO, what kind of a pay-per-view is this going to be? Are they going to have a round ring or a square ring? Are they going to have rope or Bob wire? Are they going to have chainsaws or bloodhounds? Who knows what's going to go on? They're off the wall. Anything can happen with NWO. Maybe all of the above, huh? I wouldn't be. I'm going. I'm going to it. Monday, I'm going to be in uh, Des Moines anyway for the uh, Nitro. So I'm just going to go a couple days early and do nothing, I guess, in Iowa. But I want to see this NWO pay-per-view. Well, there's something new for you. Do nothing. <laughs> I'm pretty busy, yes. Yeah, I know you are. Hit it! Joe Gomez and the Renegade in the ring. Two fine athletes. Joe Gomez, one of the top rookies in our sport, as voted on by the fans of Pro Wrestling Illustrated. Did you ever hear of Pepper Gomez? Yes. They're not related. Thanks for nothing. Sister Sherry. Oh, my goodness. As you... pretty as ever. Yeah, you're right. She's about as pretty as she was the last time we saw her. And Harlem Heat, the former World Tag Team Champions. It's going to be a good one. The young fans that follow World Championship Wrestling. Good to have them here at the Worldwide Arena, the Disney MGM Studios. Good to have you with us, fans, wherever you are. They were lined up all morning long here. Yes, they were. There's the Renegade. He and Joe Gomez, Jimmy Jett, the referee here. And here we go with our, our very first tag team match this week. And the bell, here we go. Booker T will begin, and Joe Gomez will begin. Obviously, Brain, when you talk about experience, you have to go with Harlem Heat. Yes! When you talk about it, as far as a cohesive unit, you go with Harlem Heat. The overwhelming favorites here, but that does not discount the ability of Gomez and Renegade, their perseverance, their determination and drive. Well, then you go, when you talk about Harlem Heat, you got Sherry out there. Yeah, that Harlem that, Heat are brothers. I don't mean bro, they are brothers. They're blood brothers. They've been together all their lives. They've fought all their lives. They know each other. And they're very complimentary to each other. Booker T right here is the smallest of them. He's the quickest of them. Stevie Ray's thicker. He's bigger. I mean, but they both basically can do the same thing. They're a great, great tag team. And the team of Gomez and Renegade, all they need is one win under their belts, and they're going to skyrocket. But they got to get that one big major win first. You know what I mean? You got to get that one big one. Get your confidence. It builds character in you. Or you can buy it. Which usually has been your way. Tag as Stevie Ray comes in. And here's the kick to Joe Gomez. Counting away this mammoth man, Stevie Ray. One of the most intense athletes you'll ever find in this sport. And he brings in Gomez. Enabling Booker T. Or brings in Renegade and Emily Booker T to guillotine Gomez. And look at the chin driven down. And there's a choke called Jimmy Jett right on top of the action. I mean, here. this team of Harlem Heat, they didn't have a, a silver spoon in their mouth all their lives. They fought. They fought in the streets, in yes. the alleys, wherever they had to. They watched each other's back. They know what to do in that ring. They know how to survive. That's why they're as good as they are. Yes, I have a lot of respect for them. I do Because too. they have earned everything they've accomplished. They only have one problem. And she is at ringside. Here's a hook. Your wife made it here. No, I was talking about Sherry. There's a the wrong one. That's what I'm talking about. There's rumor that you and her, you know. That's a lie. That's what I hear. That, you shut up. That's Woman a lie. told me that. Who? Woman? Nancy told... Huh. And you believe her? Well, Next I thing mean, you know, you'll be believing Deborah McMichael. Well, she did tell me about the other night when you Whoa, came up stop, here in, stop, in the hotel. No, stop. You big mouth. I'm out of my business. I'm only a reporter. Why so, do you get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and deliver the paper to Medusa? I don't do that either. And would you leave? Let's get back to the action here. You're right. I was back. I was saying about how Sherry at times drags down Harlem Heat into the midsection. How do you think she drags them down? Well, I think she's, a, I think, as good as she is at ringside, I think a lot of times she's a distraction. Well, to the other team, she should be. That's what her purpose is for. 
Well, and she knows that. Oh. But you can't distract your own people. And 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 in that in that sense, you're right. And, and when you think about it, of course, the the distraction had to do with Colonel Parker. She's finished with that now, and maybe she's back to being focused for a team because there's no denying one of the most successful females in our sport, Sister Sherry Martell. No doubt about it. She's managed champions. And she's been a fine ladies champion as well. And a heck of a cook. Oh, full up. From Renegade. One. A warning now. Renegade shoving off. Stevie Ray, Booker T in there. We got a double team as Joe Gomez physically thrown out here. Oh! Harlem sidekick. Count One, to three, count two, to 50. Three. How about that one? Harlem, he dominates again. Go, 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 go. I'll see you later, Tony. I got to go do something. What? I'm Samuel. leaving. You stay right here. I have to go do something. I have to make a phone call. Frame. The hey, program is almost over. Would you sit down? As a matter of fact, let's stand up here. We'll get ready to talk. Tony, where are you going? Tony. Go oh, I don't know where he went now. Here I am, right over here. What? Oh, there you are. Don't do that sneak around when I'm... I got work to do here. I can't be worried about what you're up to. Joe Gomez comes off that top rope with a clothesline on Harlem Heat. But just didn't have enough to gain him a victory here. Renegade makes a good move in the Bulldog headlock. But Harlem, he's just too powerful, too tough, too big to beat. And watch this sidekick. Almost takes his head off. There's your winner from Harlem, New York. Stevie Ray, Booker T, along with Sister Sherry. Your winner, Harlem Heat. All right, Blaine, thanks a, thanks a lot to come on in here. What in the world are you doing, for crying out loud? I'm not here to change the light bulbs. Well, you're talking about, I'm sure, the ladder match, Eddie Guerrero and Six coming up at NWO sold out. Imagine this. The belt hung above this ladder, and they have to climb the ladder to get the title, to get the belt. You know how high it is up there? I'll show you. Watch yourself. <laughs> We're going to need some help here. I tell you, fans, the NWO sold-out pay-per-view is coming up, and we would love to see Eddie Guerrero. Where are you going, anyway? Huh? Eddie, Eddie Guerrero climbed the ladder and reached the belt for Bobby the Brain Heen and Bobby Brain. I'm Tony Schiavone. My nose is bleeding. <laughs> we'll see you next week on Worldwide Wrestling during our NWO weekend. Oh!